from Malaysia. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. Did you know that Malaysia hosts 20% of the world's species? Overall, they're one of the most biodiverse areas in the entire world. Today, we're gonna take a look at some of the amazing things that live there. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Proboscis monkey. Known for their absurdly long noses, this primate takes the prize for funniest looking monkey in the forest. They live happily alongside fellow primates like the orangutans in the wild forests on the island of Borneo. They are avid swimmers and always live within a kilometer or a few miles of a water source. You will see them skillfully cross a river and are equally adept to swim underwater too. Sadly, like most forest dwellers, their habitat is threatened by deforestation and their numbers are dwindling. How long they will last, nobody knows. Raphalesia. It may not run on all fours, but when it comes to unique living organisms, Raphalesia deserves a mention. This plant is not only massive, but smelly as well. The odors released have been compared to rotting flesh, and it's perfect for attracting flies, which help pollinate this very rare plant. It's the state flower of Sabah, and the largest ever Raphalesia was found in Sabah's Borneo rainforests. Pitta. Pitta can be spotted all over Kuala Tahan and Maripo. The pitta's original markings and bright colors are a favorite sighting when bird watching in these regions. The most popular pittas that you see are the garnet pitta, banded, and blue winged pitta. Each species has its own vibrant markings on their heads, back, and wings. The pitta has been forced to make Taman Negara their home because of deforestation in other areas. Be sure to look out for these bright little birds on the Janet Muda Trail, Tembling River Trail, and Bukit Terasek Trail bird dropping spider. It has a long, unpronounceable scientific name, but this unique species has a very creative way of camouflaging itself. It mimics a bird dropping and even strikes a similar pose to a dropping to avoid being eaten. This tropical crab spider is found in Malaysia, Sumatra, and Java. And to add to the effectiveness of the disguise, the spider is also said to smell like a bird dropping. Malayan tapir. This relation of the elephant and rhino is found in three regions in Southeast Asia, including Malaysia. It is an herbivore that marks out a territory using scent and ambles around it, slowly grazing and picking up on other tapir's scents. Its black and white markings don't seem like the most obvious camouflage, but when lying down to sleep, their white back makes the tapir look just like a rock. Weighing in at an impressive average of 660 pounds, it is not a lightweight in the animal kingdom. Some adults can weigh up to 540 kilograms. That's about 1,200 pounds. Believe it or not, this docile looking herbivore can run a decent speed when threatened and will defend itself with strong jaws and sharp teeth. Due to threat from humans, they are estimated to be less than 350 tapirs left. Binturong. It may hold the name bear cat as well, but this animal is not related to cats or bears for that matter, but it is a close relative to the civet. They're not big, around the size of a dog, and sadly they're often seen at markets where they're sold as pets. It's an old world mammal, and although their exact numbers are not known, they are classified as vulnerable. The most bizarre fact about this unusual looking critter is that they smell like buttered popcorn. Malayan peacock pheasant. The Malayan peacock pheasant is also known as the crested peacock pheasant. You will know it by its medium-sized body, short tail, and shiny emerald eyes. Their feathers are light brownish with small black spots and bands and large emerald colored spots. The female is smaller than the male. They are sedentary birds, not racking up major mileage in their time. In fact, the males will only move around an average territory of 30 hectares in their entire life, and females half of that. Like many animals in the forest, they're listed as vulnerable due to habitat loss. Siamang Gibbon. The local forests in Malaysia are where you'll find these long-armed gibbons. They're up at the crack of dawn and have long hooting calls. They boast a shaggy coat and are unique in that their first two toes on their feet are partially joined. Plus, they have a gular sac, which is what they use to make that loud hooting call. The sac swells up to around the same size as its head when that happens. They call, hoot, and sing loudly every morning from 9 a.m. for about half an hour, which is how they defend their territory. 
Lesser mouse deer. This tiny forest friend is one of Malaysia's most well-known creatures. Measuring only 17 inches tall and weighing less than 4.4 pounds, their dainty stature and mouse-like features have made them a Malay favorite, even donning a reputation as a wise creature and is often the main character in folklore. It can be commonly found not only in the jungles of peninsular Malaysia, but also in East Malaysia and many of the smaller islands within Malaysian waters. Sadly, the lesser mouse deer is under threat from feral dogs preying on it. Bornean Bearded Pig and there you thought Grandpa Pig was a British cartoon character from Peppa Pig when in fact, here he is, in the flesh. Bearded pigs are common in Sumatra, Borneo, and along the Malay Peninsula. These active pigs love the water, so it's not uncommon to see one wading across a river. Litters are usually seven to nine piglets, but smaller females will bear fewer children. In captivity, they can live up to 13 years old. Borneo Pygmy Elephant these are the cutest of elephants with oversized ears, rounded faces, and smaller body sizes. They are tame and passive creatures, and scientists think that they might have been bred for domestic purpose. The Borneo pygmy elephant is the smallest elephant species in Asia and is exclusive to Borneo, with only about 1,500 Borneo pygmy elephants thought to be in the wild. Their biggest threats are human-elephant conflict and deforestation. Despite being such an endangered species and such a prized sighting, there's very little known about them and they are the least understood elephants in the world. If you are able to see one in the wild, you should count your lucky stars. Long-tailed macaque monkey. As its name suggests, its tail is a big factor in this primate. They thrive in the tropical Malaysian climate and gather in smaller groups up in the trees. They are part of the greater macaque family, which has the widest geographical spread of any non-human primate. They can be quite aggressive around food and have a strict social pecking order, making sure the highest in the hierarchy gets most of the spoils. They are major scavengers and can be a problem in tourist areas where they can get very aggressive and will even steal people's food right out of their hands. A Malayan Flying Lemur Okay, so this one might be a bit misleading with its name. First off, it isn't actually a lemur, but it is part of the arboreal gliding mammals. Also, technically, it doesn't fly, but instead leaps and glides among the trees. But don't be fooled, it does this with skill and precision, missing trees as it glides through the high canopies of dense tropical rainforests in peninsular and East Malaysia. How it pulls this amazing feat off is with a specially adapted flap of skin. The thin membrane starts from neck to the tip of its fingers and then carries on down the side of the body to its toes, almost like the makeup of bat's wings. Barking deer. This deer makes a barking warning sound whenever it senses a predator nearby. This is the oldest wild deer and is omnivorous, eating a diet of grass, fruit, shoots, seeds, birds' eggs, and small animals. The males fight against each other using their antlers to win territory, a practice known as rutting, and they are quite often aggressive to people during rutting season. They're found deep in the Taman and Nagara's rainforest. Guar. The guar looks a lot like a buffalo and is Malaysia's wild cattle species. Its Malay name is Seladang. They are found in peninsular Malaysia. They reign on the open land and sometimes along highways near plantation land. Many are still living in the wild but are domesticated for farming also. It is one of the largest bovines on earth, boasting giant horns and massive strength, so they can be pretty tricky to domesticate. Sun bear. The sun bear is where the idea that bears love pots of honey comes from. They are also known as honey bears and feast on honeycomb and honey until, well, the bees come home. Although they do also eat insects and fruit, they sniff out their favorite foods with a very keen sense of smell. They are the smallest bear with black fur and they do not hibernate like most of their cousins. They live in the tropical rainforest, so they don't really have a need to spend the winter months indoors. You might even come across one as you hike the rainforests in Malaysia. Horsehair worm. This is probably the craziest animal we have ever heard of. This tiny, wormy critter might appear innocent, but it's actually a mind-controlling parasite. The larva of the horsehair worm enters the host through hooks on their bodies and then develops and grows slowly to maturity inside of them. Once the larvae become adults, they need to return to the water, and how they do this is truly extraordinary. They use neurotransmitters to brainwash their hosts into drowning themselves. Yeah, you heard that right. They cause the host to take its own life. Once they're back in the water, they leave the host's now corpse and carry on their happy life. 
Clouded Leopard The Sunda Clouded Leopard is literally the top of the food chain in Borneo. This apex predator is the largest wild cat on the island. Its markings are similar to a leopard, but so much more. It has a stocky build and is great at tree climbing and hunting. They live solitary lives, and it is estimated that there are about 3,000 clouded leopard in the wild, getting crammed closer together as deforestation reduces their available habitat. They are illegally hunted for their beautiful fur, and this is threatening their population even more. That is a ton of information so far, and we still have one more species to go. But before we get there, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite so far, or your least favorite. For me, that's the horsehair worm. 1. Trilobite Beetle Mark Wong has been credited with finding this prehistoric bug in the forests of Singapore originally. There are different colored ones including purple, green, and black with orange dots. Often people who have found these beetles believe they've discovered a species of trilobite, or marine arachnomorph arthropods that went extinct 252 million years ago. Strangely, all the beetles that look like trilobites are female. It took almost 100 years to find a male, which was discovered in Borneo. <laughs> tengok video tadi terus sekarang cikgu nak kamu senaraikan hidup pandai yang boleh dijumpai di hutan hujan tropika Malaysia ada lebih kurang 15 kan tadi tapi cikgu nak kamu senaraikan 10 sahaja pastikan kamu lengkapkan di dalam kertas ya ok kita akan berjumpa lagi sekian terima kasih